Kilo Charlie Four, Zulu Golf Papa in Georgia. Good afternoon. Kilo Charlie Four, Zebra Golf uh, Papa. This is Casey Nine VKV. Who we got? There? What's the name there? Uh, Papa. This is Casey Nine VKV. Who we got? There? What's the name there? Hi, good afternoon. This is Tim. I'm in Warner Robins, Georgia. I'm going to mark the time now at 24. I want to, uh, since we talked last with the video part back Friday, I, I turned on my compressor since, and I figured since you recorded, when I play it back, I'm able to hear myself really live from the speaker. Back to you, Jim. Oh, Roger that. Well, I can I see that uh, your dynamic range seems to be about 3 dB, and that would be normal if you're running that uh, that compressor at about a 3, and your ALC at about mid-scale to two-thirds, Roger? Yep, that's what it is. Yeah, Tuesday we talked, and uh, same thing. Yeah, I got the compression at about 30. It's 100 scale. And, uh, yeah, the ALC sits at about uh, two-thirds to almost uh, to the full peak. It hasn't even, it doesn't even go over the peak. I like that. Okay, yeah, I'm going to jabber here for about a minute. This way it'll record it. Um, last time I talked to you on Friday when I replayed the video, I noticed when you switched to the New York SDR, I came in loudest. Oh, that makes sense since uh, SDR, I came in loudest. Furthest force. That guy had that space delay, a half second, man oh man, uh, a quarter of a second. That would put it, yeah. So I wonder what's out there. I wonder what it's bouncing off of. Maybe some UFO out there. I know. I, yeah, there must be some a alien ham radio guy. I wonder if he has his license to broadcast back. That maybe it. But I've never, I've never seen, I've never heard of any signals going around the earth. You know coming and actually being heard again that loudly. That's weird. That's weird. This is KC4ZGP and speaks with KC9BKB. Roger, Tim. Well, you know, if you've got uh, directionality, if you have control of directionality and you can separate the front from the back, uh, then you can uh, orient uh, to the uh, back side uh, for the return and get uh, whatever dB gain of that antenna. Plus, the, you know, you're not going to be getting anything near coming back from the side that you're sending on. So what you're looking for is the return on the opposite way. So like I say, with directional antennas, uh, it's more probable that you could possibly do that, but that's a that's a long trip. Uh, just out of curiosity, Tim, uh, do you know happen to know what the distance for the uh, stationary satellites are out there? Uh, well, when I was in the Air Force, most of them that we had, the geosynchronous, were about twenty three thousand miles out. That's that part in Earth orbit where things stabilize, is what they explained. Any closer, you have to be moving fast to keep off the gravity of Earth pulling you in. It's about 23,000 miles for those stationary geosynchronous, they call. Uh, DirecTV, for example, is an example of a geosynchronous satellite. It stays in one place in the sky. Roger, Roger. And uh, I believe the uh, delay time on those transmissions are like about a quarter of a second. I think the uh, delays from those uh, birds are about a quarter of a second from from here to there, and then uh, a quarter of a second, then from there back to here is about a quarter of a second. So their delay was, uh, you know, uh, maybe half a second. So they were getting stuff out there from maybe uh, 50,000 miles out in space. Yep. <laughs> could be. We, when I was in the Air Force, I was at Camp Drake, Japan, in an auto and switch. We had a circuit, a 600 bit per second. Uh, 600 bit per second circuit that went from Camp Drake, Japan, right around the Tokyo area to the Avon Garcia, and it took two satellite links. And uh, you could almost sit there and almost two seconds you could send, if they looped it to us, you could put a, put, put a signal out, and in almost two seconds we'd get it back. That's how far that was. And that circuit was always down. It seemed to be down more than up. And I thought... You know, th this stuff can only go so far, so long. Uh, you know, we need to, uh, they need to get into a closer place. 88,000 miles, just 20, 20, yeah. 80,000 miles one way on that circuit. And then they got the <laughs> return path in another 88,000. That's why the circuit just didn't seem to like things. It was too long. But that was in the 80s. I'm sure they got it all figured out by now. This is KC4, ZGP. I'm going to go ahead and back out of here. There's another gentleman. DGP, I'm going to go ahead and back out of here. There's another gentleman I ran into Tuesday. 
Uh, he has an FT450. He may be up here, and he may be want to play with the audio stuff. He did the other day with me, and uh, he went from some switch setting from 4 to 5. When he went to 5, he all of a sudden became very muddled in his speech. So we went back to 4. Uh, he may come up here. I told him about uh, 3.30 to 5 today. Uh, he may be 450. He's only been on the air a couple of years. Have fun, Jim, and be safe. And yeah, that uh, 3-500Z tube, is that the one that sits behind you in the video? Uh, Roger, yes, uh, it is, and I'm glad to have both of them <laughs> running today. So you actually use that in the, you've got a tube on an amplifier right now exposed, uh, not in a steel cage. Wow, okay. All right, Jim. <laughs> Okay, thank you. Thank you. This is Casey Ford, DGP, going to listen for the rest of the hour and a half. Roger, Tim, I thought you were talking about the uh, SB220. Now, now, that other tube over there by uh, on the other side, now that is a, a piece of uh, artificial, uh, well, it's a real tube, but it's uh, it's not running. That's just there, you know. But I thought you were talking about the uh, Z500, Z, uh, the 3500Zs and the uh, SB220, Roger. Oh, okay, okay. It's just a uh, desktop item. Kind of like my Three Stooges pictures around my room there. Decoration. <laughs> Very good, Jim. Be safe. Have fun. Bye-bye. Roger, Roger, Tim, three sides away. Sounding mighty good. Matter of fact, I, everywhere I went, uh, you were. Uh, I have, uh, you know, two receivers. Uh, the uh, 7300 is running my uh, two uh, uh, large 10-foot uh, uh, vertical magnetic loops, and you were all over those at 10 over. And then I switched to my 990 on a dipole, and you were all over that. And then I switched to Rochester, New York, and you were all over that. So uh, you, uh, <laughs> you're saddling forth there. You'll uh, be able to see that uh, when you go to uh, YouTube and do that call letter search for Kilo Charlie 9 Victor Kilo Victor. Victor, and uh, that'll take you through the QSO Vlog page, and you'll be looking for a entity called My Group Air Check 22020. My Group Air Check 22020, and that should be on uh, page one of our QSO Vlog. Uh, this is KC9 VKV, and uh, we are listening.